Hi folks, we are going to be looking at the review for exam four for Math 095, so which gets into algebra and solving equations and evaluating expressions and whatnot. So let's take a look at what we got. So this first question wants you to evaluate the expression when m is 2, n is negative 3, and p is 4. So we have a few different expressions they want you to break down. So the first one, we got n is to the third power. So looking at what n is, n is negative 3. So remember, the biggest thing is to try to always substitute in a number for a letter in parentheses. So, so we replace the n with the negative 3 in parentheses, and now we just have to break this down. So we should know that this is equal to negative 3 times negative 3 times negative 3. So if we multiply all those together, that is a 3, by the way, we should get negative 27. All right. And now for the next one, we got negative 4 times m, which is 2, and p, which is 4. So if we work from left to right, and we take care of exponents first, we can do the first multiplication, which is going to be a negative 8. 4 to the second power better be 16, and that's going to give us a negative 128. And now the last one, so m is 2, n is negative 3. Sorry for that feedback. And so now let's take care of the exponents before we multiply, though. So we got 2 to the 4th power, which better be 16, negative 3 to the 2nd, which is going to be a positive 9. And so now if we work left to right, looks like we have 80 times 9 which is 720. So there's that. So these problems are really not too bad as long as you replace things with parentheses like we're doing here. Now, when you have multiple terms on a singular um, expression, then you want to be careful about double negatives and things like that because those will impact your answer as well. So be careful. All right, now the next batch of problems you can see are all simplifying the expression. So we got six of them here. The biggest thing to keep in mind is you can only combine things that have the same variables with the same powers. So looking at this first expression, the only things we can combine are the AB and the 2AB. And so now we should just remember that you can squeeze a 1 in front here. And so now we got 1AB and 2AB, which better give us a 3AB. And then the other term, we can't do anything with, so we'll just write it down. So remember, you don't have to do anything with the variables. You're not going to say, okay, well, I got an A and an A, that's an A squared. You don't have to do that. You just kind of just use that as a way to connect the two terms, but then you only combine the numbers in front, and that's it. Don't combine the variables in it any way. So that would be our first answer. Now remember the order of the terms doesn't matter so we could have had these flip-flopped and it's still the same thing so you're good. So on the second one the only thing we can combine are the x's and again we were going to want to squeeze a 1 in here and so now negative 3 and a negative 1 better be a negative 4 and then the other ones we're just going to write down. So, that was a pretty quick one. So now when you get to ones with parentheses, so in this case, there's nothing uh, inside, the, <coughs> excuse me, inside the parentheses except for multiplication. There's no addition, no subtraction. So we don't have to use the distributive property. We want to use the associative property. So we're just going to multiply the numbers in front, and that's it. So this is going to give you a 16g to the third power. And so now this one is different because now we do have a plus sign in here. So now we, we are going to want to distribute this to both of those terms. 
So that's going to give you a negative 6b minus 8. And that's it. We can't, we can't combine these two terms because this one has a b and this one does not. So that would be your answer for this one. All right, and now the two fun ones. So in this one here, it's really tempting to want to combine these two numbers in front, but you can't. They're not in parentheses, so you can't combine those. So the only thing we can do, whoops, is distribute. So, so you want to distribute to both of those two terms. So everything else is just going to come down. So 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times positive 1 is positive 6. And then we still got the minus 4x. And now from here, we can combine like terms. So we got the 4, excuse me, the minus 4 and the positive 6, which will give you a positive 2. And then we've got the 24x and the minus 4x, which is a positive 20x. Now remember, you can reverse the terms if you want. Me, I'm a nerd. I like to have my x's first. So I'm going to put 20x plus 2. Now this last one's got a lot of it, uh, variables and a lot of exponents. So we're just going to be careful which ones we combine together. So if we look at this 3x squared y, which one is that going to combine with? And we can kind of see the only thing that has the same variables with the same powers is that one. So we're going to have to squeeze a 1 in. So we have the 3 and the 1, which is 4 x squared y. Again, don't do anything with the variables. Okay, what else can we combine in here? Hopefully you can kind of see these ones here. So minus 4xy minus 3xy should give you a minus 7xy. And what about these last two? Can we combine those? No. Nah. Yeah, this one's missing an exponent on the x. So we can't combine those together, so we're just going to write those down. And so now we'll just write them on the line to be professional. And then we're done. So that wraps up the first page. So stay tuned for the next video, and we'll keep on trucking.